Oh, hi there. It's me, Mr. Peacock, and this is Geometry. Well, today we're going to be talking about spheres, which are like three-dimensional circles. And there are so many different things we could use. We could use various sports balls, like, you know, baskets balls, bases balls, tennis balls, golf balls, any of those to talk about spheres. But what I want to talk about today is my beautiful pet, BVA. He is also a sphere. Well, sorry, not yet. Now my beautiful pet BB-8 is a sphere, as long as you, you know, decapitate him. But here we go. And today we're going to be talking about volume, which is like all the space inside of BB-8, where all the gears are, or surface area, which is just like the area on the outside. We're going to learn those formulas today on geometry. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have decapitated you. Okay, so let's talk about spheres. Now, this is a pretty short topic, so it's part of a new feature I'm calling Geometry Bites. Now, it's the best time for me to introduce a new feature because we only have one more video left. So, here's the big things you need to know. The formulas. So, if we have a sphere, we want to find the area of a sphere, or the volume, it's 4 thirds pi r cubed. So, instead of pi r squared, it's basically the area times the radius again times four thirds. That's it. Now, the surface area is four times pi r squared. So it's just like four circles, basically. It's the surface area of a sphere. So now that we know that, let's find the volume of this hemisphere. Hemisphere, by the way, means half a sphere. So remember, our formula is four thirds pi r, so in this case 11 cubed. Now I'm not going to lie to you, I do not know what 11 cubed is, so I'm going to go into a nice little calculator, pull that up. Let's see, so 11 cubed is, alright, so what we really have here is 4 thirds of pi times 1331. Now here's the thing. We can't really do much with that. I can multiply it by 4 and that's going to get me uh, 5324 and then I'm just going to say over 3 pi. Uh, if I did want to get that as a nice little decimal it's going to be 1774 Point six repeating pi. I like this answer better. That's it. Oh wait, that's not how. That's not the whole thing. That's that's double what I need. So let's go back and change that a little bit. We're gonna get rid of some of this. So times two. That's two six six two pi over three inches cubed. Now, if I wanted to take that number and divide that by 3, that would get us 887.3 repeating pi inches cubed. So, once again, though, I do like this answer a little bit better. All right, let's find the surface area of the sphere. So, first thing, remember, it is basically... 4 times pi r squared. So in this case, the radius is half of 16, so 8. So this becomes 4 times pi times 64. 4 times 64 is 256 pi square yards. All right, here's our last question. So in this case, we need to find the surface area and volume of a sphere centered at 0, 0, 0 that passes through the point 2, 3, 6. Now, we are going to be talking about that three-dimensional graphing that we did earlier. So I want to remind you, the basic thing is, it's like Pythagorean theorem, but with a third point. Or distance formula with a third point. And since it goes from 0 to 2, 0 to 3, and 0 to 6, it's really just the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 6 squared. So that's 4 plus 9, that's 13, plus 36. 13 plus 36 
square root of 49. That means the radius is 7. Now that I know that, 4 thirds pi times 7 cubed. So 7 times 7 times 7. That gets us 343 over 3. Sorry, 343 times 4. So that gets us 4 thirds of 343 pi or 1372 over 3 pi. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me just double check this. Yeah, because 13 doesn't add up. So then, uh, and that's technically units cubed. So now the other one is 4 times pi r squared. So 4 pi times 49. 49 times 4 is... 196 pi units squared. So that's volume and this is surface area. There we go. And with that, please like and subscribe. Uh, that's really about it. Uh, tell me how you feel about this beautiful new segment that I've created called Geometry Bites. Definitely plan on continuing that out now that I'm done with you know, teaching geometry. So thank you all very much. See you all next time, the last time, on Geometry.